Unlike the typical silicon molding putty, the impressive putty mold making mix allows you to make lots and lots of molds with the same mold making material. So instead of throwing it out or doing another mold with more material, you buy it once and you can reuse it as many times as you want. The impressive putty mix just means that you have to mix it the first time you use it and then after that you can remelt it and reuse it dozens and dozens of times. To use the impressive putty mix for the first time, place all of the putty on a microwave safe dish and heat this in the microwave for 90 seconds and immediately stir it while it's hot with a spoon for about 30 seconds. Be careful at this point because the impressive putty will be hot. You are heating it. You want to heat it above 180 degrees Fahrenheit so all the ingredients will mix together and form a nice smooth texture. After you stir this for about 30 seconds, you want to put it back in the microwave for another 60 seconds and stir this again for another 30 seconds. Now you should have a relatively smooth texture. You want to do it one more time for 60 seconds and stir it for another 30 seconds just to make sure that everything is mixed and ready to go. Before you use it, you want to cool this off so it is comfortable to touch with your hands. Impressive Putty works really well with lots and lots of different casting materials, including pretty much most of the resins, which include epoxy, polyurethane, polyesters, vinyl esters. They all work very well with those. It works with waxes up to temperatures up to about 210 degrees Fahrenheit waxes. You can use it with, with fast curing plasters and hard plasters and fast curing cements as well as soaps and other materials as well. So we're gonna heat this up one more time and mix it one more time and then we're going to let it cool for about 20 minutes so it is touchable with our hands without burning ourselves because at this point it will be hot. Another warning, be careful, it will be hot. At this point you can see that it's a nice smooth texture is ready to go at this point this is what the typical impressive putty that is pre-mixed comes as it looks like this the only difference between the two is you have to do that mixing in the impressive putty that comes pre-mixed we do this for you and it acts the same works the same at this point it's the exact same material after you let this cool for about 20 minutes so that it can be touched with your hands without burning yourself you want to knead it one more time for about 30 seconds to a minute to get it in a nice smooth texture. Now you want to take your part, press the impressive putty over it, and you make your mold. It's very simple at this point. What's great about the impressive putty is you don't need a mold box. You don't need any mold release because it comes with a mold release and activator already in it. You'll see in the material as it sits for a while, it has a slight uh, liquid that comes under the surface. That's the actual activator in the mold release that we put into the impressive putty. That activator and mold release allows the impressive putty to be remelted and reused lots and lots of times. If you have a lot on it, don't worry about it. Just take a paper pa paper towel or washcloth and wash wipe it off and it'll be fine. To solidify, all you do is let the mold cool. If you have a refrigerator or a freezer, you can put it in the refrigerator or freezer and cool it faster. If you don't, just let it sit out at room temperature and, it's, and after an hour or so, it'll be solidified into a nice rubber mold. You know it's done as if you put your fingernail on it and it doesn't leave an indentation. You know it's solidified to the point that it's usable. Pull out your original and now it's time to cast with it. So I'm going to be making a handhold for a rock wall. And to make this rock wall handhold, I'm going to use an epoxy resin with a plaster filler. I'm using the plaster filler so I can use less of the epoxy resin to reduce the cost and to make a nice texture with it. The epoxy resin comes as one part part A, one part part B, and I'm adding in one part by volume of plaster. I'm going to mix these all together and just because I want to make a different color, I'm going to add a little bit of color. The colorant is our orange at epoxycolor.com. I'm adding several drops of it. When you see this at the end, you'll notice that it's going to be yellow. And the reason it turns out yellow is because the orange is going to mix with the white of the plaster and it's going to make it yellow. If I wanted to make it more orange, I could add more red to this or I could just add more drops of the orange into it. Be sure when you're mixing the epoxies, you get the sides and around the edges of the epoxy to make sure everything is mixed together. And I just pour this into the mold shape. 
at any point, if I don't like the mold shape or I want to make another mold, I can remelt and make another form with the impressive putty. Unlike what I'm doing in this video, you might want to use some gloves on just to keep the epoxy from getting onto your skin. When you're making a rock wall hand grip like this, one of the things that you can do is take your bolt that you're using to attach it to the wall and put it right into the epoxy at this time and just let it sit there and cure. Um, you can put it in before or afterwards. You can either put the bolt on this side or you can put the nut on this side and screw it into it. For what I'm doing in terms of a demonstration, I'm going to just do that and after a secondary process and do it afterwards. Now I'm going to pop the bubbles that are on the surface of it. I first used a little bit of a toothpick to pull that off and do it. And then I'm going to use a little bit of heat on the surface of it to break any of those bubbles up. It doesn't need it a lot. And let the epoxy cure and then pull it out of the mold. To get it out of the mold, just peel away the sides of it. The epoxy putty is flexible, so you can flex it around the mold. Three, two, one. Ta-da! And there's our duplicate of the rock wall. Thank you so much for watching Composite Mold and Impressive Putty. Let me know if you have any questions and hopefully see you soon.